So for today, we're going to be looking at the Fortnite armor. Specifically, we're going to be looking at the boots. This is available this week, so hurry up and get it before the week ends. I think these are amazing. The Hunter's uh, legs look really good. The Titan's legs look really good. Even the Warlock's legs look really good, which is so weird for me to say. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe, it really does help because a huge portion of people are actually not subscribed. So if you can do me a favor, like, comment, sub really does help, motivates me to make more content for you guys because I have a lot of content coming out. I have so much videos to make and it's not even funny. So again, any type of support really is appreciated and let's just get into it. So we're going to be looking at the Hunter Titan and then Warlock. The Hunters, I ended up going with Raiju's Harness. Uh, I don't know why. I'm going to be real with you guys. Uh, you know what it probably is? It's because the Eternal Vengeance Strides have like a light in the back of the heel. So I was like, uh, that, I don't know why that reminds me of Raiju's Harness, but let's go with it. So for the helmet, we're using the Katorior mask uh, specifically because I want to take the hood off of the Renegade hood. And I just want to have like the scarf for the arms we're using the Lux sleeves because I wanted something bulky for the arms, but not too bulky. And I wanted them to be symmetrical as well. For the chest piece, obviously we're using Raiju's Harness. And for the boots, we're using the Eternal Vengeance. Now, I know we went pretty fast with this, but I just want to I just want to say, like, I don't know why I went with Raiju's Harness. I don't even like Raiju's Harness, like how it looks. Don't get me wrong, it looks cool. But Raiju's Harness is not the first thing I think of when I think of a chess piece. There's so many other uh, uh, there's there's so many other exotic chess pieces that I think off the top of my head that when I thought of Raiju's Harness, I was like, I don't know who I am, but let's just go with it. And I'm happy I went with it because I do think that Raiju's Harness looks really good with this set. The only two pieces that I kind of think would be better off not used would be the arms and the helmet i think uh, the helmet it would be better if you have like a glowy bit on the helmet so that way you can have a little bit more glow but the arms is also pretty pretty problematic because a lot of the pieces that have glowy bits are not symmetrical so i wanted to retain the the symmetricalness of it because of eternal vengeance obviously and the raiju's harness also is symmetrical as well so i wanted to keep symmetry in mind because i don't want to go too crazy with asymmetry uh, i didn't want to go with it at all so hunters let me know what you guys think i really like this set will i ever use it probably not but it's one of those like might as well dip my toes into like things that i usually don't go for which is raiju's harness so hunters let me know what you guys think i definitely think this is really cool for the next set, we're going to be looking at the Nightly Noir Greaves. Now, this is a little weird because this one went through so many different pieces. I'm talking different helmet, different arms. Like, those two pieces are really the only pieces that I was really fighting, like, a lot. So much so that I, to this, like, I still like this look, don't get me wrong. But there is one set that I think looked really good. And the only reason I did not use it is because of the fact that I would have been using two pieces of the same armor set. And if you guys know me, you guys know that I have a rule that I don't let myself use more than one piece of an armor set. Uh, even though now that I think about it, it's it's a dumb rule because it, it does limit me a lot. But it also pushes me to do new things as well. So for the arms and the helmet it was actually going to be the jinsim knight helm and the jinsim knight gauntlets because it actually does look really good i would re i would recommend that if you don't want to use the Rever reverie dawn helm i do understand that that's a very niche pick because a lot of people are, do think it's boring which i would agree uh for the arms we're using the and gauntlets <sighs> my gripe with the and gauntlets is for female titans it looks so small so I would probably switch out the arms for the Jensen Knight Gauntlets just because I personally think they look better. For the Curious of the Falling Star, we're using the Comet Stirring Dream ornament. I love this ornament. Unfortunately, it shaders really terribly. So just be aware that the like inside of the chest piece will change to like an opposite color of a shader usually. Uh, what's really funny though is we ended up going for Golden Empire, the shader. I rarely... I, don't, I actually don't think I've ever used Golden Empire on a set before, so it is really weird that I'm using it in this one. But the main reason why I'm using Golden Empire is because I like the fact that the gold is very, very similar to the gold on the Imperium Cartographer mark, specifically the side, the hips. Uh, you guys can see the gold's actually two different colors, 
but when you see it as a whole, you, you, you don't really first see that. So that's why I'm combining it with the Golden Empire. And the shadow gilt on the Empyrean cartographer is because I want to have that gold in front of the in front of the waist. Because if you use Golden Empire, it actually turns it into a white. So Titans, let me know what you guys think. I definitely think the better choice would be to go with the Jensen Knight pieces, specifically the helmet and the gauntlets, because they do look a lot better. But I still like this look. I just wanted I just wanted to show you this one because. I make mistakes. I'm hard headed sometimes. And looking back, I definitely would just tell you just use the Jensenite helmet and arms and it's going to look good. And last but not least, we have the Warlocks with probably one of the dopest looks I've made for her. Honestly, every piece fits so perfectly that I'm kind of mad. I'm not going to lie to you guys. So for the helmet, we're using the Astrocyte verse. I was thinking about using uh, Eye of Another World, I think it's called, uh, with the ornament. If you guys don't know, Eye of Another World does actually have an ornament with it, which is called Gaze of Beyond Worlds. It's a really good ornament. I'd recommend if you have that, put it on it. It looks amazing. But I do think that the Astrocyte verse just looks a lot better. It looks a lot better, if I'm being quite honest. Not saying the other one doesn't look good. It's just, I don't know, man. It just fits the vibe, I guess I would say. For the arms, we're actually using the Grasp of E-R-U, or E-R, or e -R, or e -R, I, whatever, the arms from King's Fall. So, I will be putting this armor for the King's Fall arms video, which I will have. I'll show you a sneak peek right now, but essentially, we are going to make a video for that because it looks amazing, and the other sets also do look really cool, in my opinion. But, yeah, I just want to just want to let you guys know you will see this armor again because this shit looks amazing for the chest piece. We're using the Katori or long coat because it, it, it fits so well with the boots, which is obviously the painted Kitsune boots. And the first thing I thought of was like, yo, look, they gave Warlocks kicks again. I think they've gotten one before, but like they got kicks again. I'm definitely going to pair this with the Katori or long coat because that shit's super fucking cool. And the bond, we're actually using the Starfarer's bond because I like the fact that the boots are white and I wanted to have some white on the top as well. And in the chest piece, you can actually see that a lot of the jewelry in the middle is white, but is it, but it is obscured a little. So that's why I wanted to have the bond be white. So funny story. Uh, I was mixing, mixing all of this around, trying to think like, oh, like, what, what can I do with this? What can I do with this? Cause I had the boots and the chest piece done already, but the arms I just had on because of, I just had them on like randomly. So I put on a random shader and it looked amazing. And I was like, this, these arms look good with this. So that's how I came up with it. And then the bond just came in, in later. So warlocks, let me know what you guys think. This is a really good uh, set. If you want to prepare it with like an exotic helmet or something because it's really good like nezarak sin probably is going to look super dope with this any helmet will most likely look super dope with this so warlocks let me know what you guys think i definitely think you guys got the best piece from the whole from the whole video i think this is probably one of my best sets this season let me know what you guys think and again i appreciate y'all for blowing up the channel it's been a blessing and i hope you guys keep blessing it and I'll see you guys later.